What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. The Earthmaster here uh, with an update video on this Friday, beautiful Friday day here, February 25th, 2022, about uh, 12.43 p.m. California time. Latest quake uh, shows a 2.7 earthquake out there in the California region. Actually, it looks like out there in Nevada, right around the Tonopah, Nevada area, it looks like. Let's go ahead and check out this latest info here on the USGS map showing that 2.7 right around the Nevada area. We have seen, it doesn't really look like it too much here on the 2.5 map. These are all 2.5 and above, uh, but we have seen, and when we go over here to the all magnitudes, see a major increase in activity out here along the west coast. Uh, that includes return of movement down south and the Sierra Nevada mountain ranges here on the eastern crest of them, uh, stretching into the Nevada area where we're seeing that 2.7 kick up here within the last hour. Uh, just generally speaking here, quite the wide array of earthquakes out here throughout the Intermountain inter West regions and the West Coast. Let's go ahead and start down here in the Gulf of California, where we've seen some movement kick up last night with a 4.4 earthquake. Normally a good sign of pending pressure out here along the western part of the North American and Pacific plate boundary. Uh, activity definitely in a huge cluster in the Southern California region, button up against the San Andreas Fault here. See a lot of movement uh, kicking up on both sides of this plate boundary and a whole lot of earthquake activity here on the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, looks like a typical day now of earthquake activity into the California region. Uh, north of the border as well, seen a 2.5, 11.1. There's those magic numbers kicking up there uh, just on the north side of the border. Uh, salt and sea really relatively quiet not seeing any swarming movement uh, any type of activity down in this specific region but uh, definitely kicking up here along the san jacinto fault zone and got a uh, 1.4 coming in there to the uh, uh, just outside the carlsbad area looks like san marcos region uh, 1.4 at 5.5 kilometers some activity off the coast as well this area has seen a little bit of movement a little bit of swarming activity kick up here over the last week uh, generally, uh, just most mostly, I should say, under 2.5 here in the Southern California region, but there's quite a bit of them, quite a bit of earthquakes happening right now in the southern part of the state. Ridgecrest area, uh, these guys still kind of, compared to the rest of the um, filament of earthquakes out here, you know, as far as like filling in the uh, quakes that have basically been absent here for a couple days from the map, uh, looking like they're, they're kind of behind. Not a whole lot of movement out here in the Ridgecrest area. Only a handful of earthquakes, uh, but that still could change. Seems like these guys go through these series of uh, quiet spells, and then they get like a three, and then the swarm kicks up again. Similar to what we see over here in the Tonopah area. Of course, got to remember, these earthquake areas have seen larger quakes in the recent past, within the past couple years, of course, for the Ridge Ridgecrest. And, uh, of course, the six-pointer that struck around the Tonopah area uh, last year, the year before. I think it was 2019 as well. Or 2020 can't remember 2020 i believe but uh either way activity definitely ramping up out here along the west coast and the intermountain west regions let's go ahead and check out activity here around the geyser region of uh, northern cal clear lake area mount Kanaktai, cob mountain calpine hydrothermal operations out here in full force today right around the cob mountain area uh, producing uh, quite a bit of earthquakes there today and all over the place here around them uh, right up and down the Makama Fault Zone and the Bartlett Springs area fault zone up here. Seen some microquakes kick up today. Uh, northern end of the San Andreas Fault here north of the Bay Area shown a 1.1 near the Point Arena area at 3.3 kilometers. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Northern part of the Sierra Nevada looks pretty quiet. Not seeing any movement around the uh, Mount Lassen region or Mount Shasta. Uh, that one earthquake up here from last night. 2.5 into the Gorda Ridge is about the only earthquake there to report today. Uh, some quarry blasts throughout the region, right around the, uh, what do we got here? 21 kilometers east, southeast of the, the uh, what does it say? Three Sisters there? Three Rivers. I was going to say, Three Sisters does not sit out over there. Three Rivers, Oregon. Uh, pretty shallow quarry blast out there. Three Sisters, of course, it's well over here. Uh, nothing going on there today. No earthquake activity to report there at that volcano. Uh, Mountain Hood did have 1.6 uh, right smack dab at the volcano. 1.1 uh, kilometers below the surface. 
Mount St. Helens quiet today. Rainier, um, all other Cascade volcanoes shown uh, relatively quiet conditions. Scattered movement though throughout the Washington State area and also outside of Victoria, north of the Strait of Juan de Fuca. And a little activity uh, into the Canada region as well. Let me uh, switch over to the uh, earthquake. Well, hold on a second here. Earthquakes Canada map and uh, see the activity. It's kind of kicking up there in this region. Looks like most of this activity older from a couple days ago. There was one earthquake here today. Uh, looks like outside of the Edmonton area. Seeing a 3.1 near, near the uh, Hinton area. Alberta region at a uh, pretty shallow earthquake in that area. What is that? 1. Uh, 1.0 for the depth of that earthquake. Pretty shallow earthquake uh, in that area. Go back here to the uh, map here. Not a whole lot going on through the eastern country. I did see some activity here in Puerto Rico kick up again. Uh, some movement outside of Haiti as well. Looks like this is uh, north of the region where we've seen some swarming kick up here uh, within the last month or so. I think it's been over a month now. If you recall, uh, let's see if we can bring back the 30 days all magnitudes here. Yeah, there's, there was some earthquake activity here in the 4 range. And I think it even goes back past uh, 30 days uh, where we've seen uh, uh, quite a bit of 4s uh, and whatnot kick up here through this area of the uh, uh, of the region here. So low activity to the northwest. We'll go back here to the all magnitudes. Just a couple 4s. Looks like 4.7 and a 4.0. Uh, Puerto Rico, no movement around the Puerto Rico tr trench today. Mostly confined here to the southwest southwest area of Puerto Rico including a 2.3 within the last hour South America some movement once again into the Peru Chile Trench all deep activity all in the four range kicking up there and that uh, low activity once again in the South Sandwich Trench area this one definitely into the subduction zone at 79 kilometers for a 4.9 that blue circle there in the South Sandwich Islands area uh, pretty good push of movement once again westward here from the Pacific Plate, although not as uh, spectacular as we've seen here a couple days ago, but definitely seeing return of activity up here along the northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire with some deep activity once again into the uh, Kurokamchaka Trench down dip here at 242 kilometers for that 4.1. Uh, some activity also to the north here along the end of the Aleutian Chain just off the coast of Russia, 5.3. And uh, some further activity uh, down dip into the Japan Trench at a 4.4 at 123 kilometers into the subduction zone, East China Sea. Seen this earthquake here last night um, with a 5.3. Pretty shallow movement right there. Uh, of course, we had that 6.2 kick up here into the Java Trench region. Although this inland, well inland and uh, really relatively shallow at uh, 12 kilometers or so. Seen that 6.2 do some, I'm uh, uh, not for sure about the damage out there, not for sure even about the population density, but uh, definitely shaking things up there with uh, a couple fours following the uh, main quake. It looks like there was a 5.0 uh, as a four shock there just a few minutes prior to the 6.2. Uh, Java Trench, rest of the Java Trench looks pretty quiet today. Uh, Indonesia, areas around the Philippines all showing some fours kick off there. Four is a magic number, it looks like. Uh, Tonga. And the Kermadec Trench, one deep earthquake here, 4.5 just outside of the Fiji region. Rest of the plate boundary looks pretty quiet heading down south. Uh, what do we got in the Middle East here? Pretty quiet throughout there. And the Greece region all shown. Just uh, yeah, a little bit of activity kick up here, 4.1 in the Greece area. Let's see what else we got here. Hawaii, I'm going to check this out here real quick. Um, all magnitudes map still showing continued activity here around the uh, Pahala area. Of course, this, I almost lost my voice there. <clears throat> Nothing to drink on top of that. Uh, of course, this activity right here always seems like it always kicking around 32 kilometers or so below the surface. Uh, looking at the last seven days of 2.5 and above does show some activity southeast of the Big Island towards the Lohi Seamount. When we go to the 30 days, all magnitudes here, we can see that large cluster really take shape here in the region of the Pahala area. All this activity Following the 1868 uh, pretty large earthquake, that were the largest earthquake in Hawaii, with a estimated magnitude of 7.9, um, all this activity that you've seen on the USGS map here uh, comes from that 7.8, which was centered right here in the region of the Pahala area. 
where all the activity is continuing today. The 7.9, the, the 1868 Great Hawaii Earthquake there. It doesn't show the depth of the earthquake, but the, uh, I can only assume that it runs roughly around the same depth as what we're seeing here on this map. <clears throat> A little bit of info on it. Uh, here, the aftershock sequence, aftershock sequences which are occurring uh, for this event has continued up to the present day. So that's kind of what we're seeing there. It's a long, uh, kind of like a long duration aftershock sequence, but there's a lot of dynamic plate movement here. Not going to go to into all, into all the, uh, the rifts and the uh, slumps and whatnot, but uh, uh, there's definitely a, a whole lot of info on that uh, earthquake that struck and the, uh, the, um, the primary dynamics of the, uh, that plate area. Of course, uh, a lot of volcanic activity there. All volcanic activity when it comes to the uh, uh, island chain out there. Yeah, but this earthquake was pretty uh, pretty damaging there. Unfortunately, Earth earthquakes of uh, considerable size do exist out there in Hawaii. I uh, just pulled up the uh, I believe this is 5.7 and above earthquake map here of uh, of the Big Island, and uh, no doubt up here around. Uh, the um, Kilauea, just outside the Kilauea volcano, see some big earthquakes as well with uh, quite a few uh, uh, earthquakes in that region of uh, considerable size, sixes and uh, even a 7.7. .7. I remember, oh, no, that wasn't, uh, that's was a couple years before I was born there. But uh, I remember that earthquake back in 2000, uh, there it is, 2018. That's when we had that heightened movement. <clears throat> I was actually live streaming and seeing that earthquake come in here. That's when the uh, activity really kicked up here along the Estates region. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, Hawaii gets some big quakes out there. And it's just kind of cool to note the uh, all that aftershock sequences there from that great earthquake back in 1868 continuing to this day around that region. Uh, moving out here a little bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out the uh, EMSC model here. See if these folks on the European side are reporting anything uh, different than the USGS agency. Got, now got another 3.8 coming into the Haiti area right now from the earthquake app. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these folks basically reporting about the same thing here. Let's go ahead and scoot over here to the uh, region of the Caribbeans and see what these folks are kind of reporting. There is that uh, 3.8 that just came in. USGS, like, um, I, I guess sometimes they report. Uh, <clears throat> the threes down, <clears throat> down there in that region. Let's see here. I know for the Puerto Rico area they do. Sometimes uh, they'll report some uh, some s smaller quakes for this region, but I don't see it popping up there on the map. Ooh, man. No water? No water. All right. Uh, 3.8. Some movement in the three range. Definitely throughout the uh, region of the Middle America Trench, too. Gulf of California showing a lot more activity here uh, than what the USGS is reporting. The USGS, of course, showed that 4.4. Uh, EMSC model showing quite a few threes and whatnot into the Gulf region. So definitely a, a good day to watch the West Coast with all this activity kind of lighten up here. Uh, it's definitely looking pretty active here over the last 24 hours. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, I don't believe, uh, I haven't even checked that yet this morning. And it uh, looks like we're... Uh, Looks like we're somewhat calm over here. Uh, low activity in the borehole area picking up once again with uh, some microquakes or ice quakes, so to speak, out there in that region of Yellowstone National Park. Showing up also here on the promontory stations, some of it, not all of it. Kind of tells me right there that the ice quakes there are centered around the borehole region of the uh, northern side of the Lake Yellowstone region, it looks like. Yellowstone Lake all right uh that's about it folks uh, we will be back later on it is friday gonna be up here friday night uh, with missy mimi's we're gonna be doing the question and answer show we do that uh, every friday evening uh after the update video our update video will probably be around seven uh or eight o'clock p.m california time west coast time so uh look for that uh, of course missy mimi's will be on here as well and we'll take any questions and try to answer them to the best of our ability. Should you guys have any uh, any questions about anything Earth-related, not going to get into any politics or world, world event stuff uh, unless it comes to weather-related. 
uh, or you know volcanic you know asteroids stuff like that but when it comes to the uh, uh, current world events gonna stay off of that topic for now here on this channel and uh, we'll try to answer the questions best that we can until then folks check back here around 7 uh, between 7 and 8 p.m. West Coast time uh, with the update video have a good day folks enjoy enjoy this beautiful Friday <laughs>